Hello everyone and welcome today, as you can probably tell by our hot glue gun hanging out over here, we are going to be doing a craft now. We're not going to be making a craft for Mulan like we usually do on here. We're going to be fixing this thing that I made a while back. I don't know how long ago it was that I made this, but it's uh, cute. It's just a little box, but it is kind of small and sort of cramped. And honestly, it's a little bit boring looking. So I decided that I would come in and fix it. Yes, so what are we going to start with doing? So I was going to paint the inside of the house and sort of refurnish it. And uh, so in order to do that, we have to take out all the furniture and stuff. So we're just going to rip it all out. So we've stripped it down pretty well. Here's the stuff I'm keeping. I have this little lantern cap thingy. It just goes right up there. I glued some paper inside it so it looked like it had a little bit of fire in it if you took it off. <laughs> just because it's cute. And uh, obviously uh, I'm going to keep all my Lego stuff. I'm not going to throw that away. If I was to do that, send me straight to jail. Please. I, I will pay you to send me to jail if I throw anything away that's made of Lego. Anyway, on that cheerful, cheerful note, we're going to collect all of the other little craft thingies that I made that I'm going to keep. So we have a chair, an apron, etc., etc. Uh, we have, I, I'm keeping the faucet handles, and this map, and this roll of paper towels, and this little light thing that I made. Kind of looks a little like a disco ball. <laughs> anyway, um, what else have we got here? I'm gonna throw this little French sofa away. It's sort of dark. Here's a cup. Keep that. It's made of Lego. Not throwing that away. And uh, we're gonna. This is a weird little squishy bit. It goes in the cap of a pen. Uh, I. I suppose I'll just throw that away. I don't know what I'm <laughs> I don't even know what I do with that. Anyway, so uh what do we do now? I don't know. I didn't think this through. I suppose we should probably move this stuff out of the way. Alright. Uh next step. Um painting! So I want it to be a light shade because lighter colors make the space feel more open. I could use this. I like the light color, but I don't really like pink. So, uh, 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 how about this? This, 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 this. Okay, okay. I have overcast gray, which is really, really light. I have used it in place of white a couple of times. And, um, we'll use celery. Celery is a good color. We'll use celery for the floor, and we'll use overcast for the walls. Thank you. 
it is painted. got a little hat it's like it's like uh it's uh yeah i'll think of it in a minute I, I can't describe that little hat anyway oh it's so cute that's gonna be adorable you know what we need more let's make some more we gotta make some more okay so uh i'm out of these weird little green beads so um i think we're gonna have to use a different color so how about we go neutral colored here's some more little cones We'll go with white. White is a good neutral color. And it'll stand out a little bit against the light gray. And so we'll put some more light bulbs in it. Unless I throw the light bulb out on the floor, break it, and I have to go buy a new one. That's okay. Uh, these are tiny pretend light bulbs. I don't have to buy any new ones. I could just get another one. Besides the plastic, they don't break. I'm rambling at this point, so I'm going to shut up. Oh no, they're connected together! I'm sorry, I, I know what I said about being quiet, but I forgot already. Um... Yeah, now this one's attached to the little hats. Okay. And now we're just gonna put the little hats on. Oh, it's adorable! I'm so glad I decided to make more. They look even better in white. I am at a loss to describe these little hats. You know, those little cone hats. Uh, these little cone, you know, the little cone hats that Master Wu wears. Yeah, that guy from Ninjago. Yeah. Those hats. Oh, they look like tiny Master Woos. Yes, that is exactly what they are. And I think they're adorable. They're going to look fabulous in my house. Well, not my house. I can't live there. But Mia can. And Mini Me can. As soon as I find all the parts for Mini Me, who I disassembled. That's a horror story for another time. 
just like painting the outside of this box, which I forgot to do and had to complain to someone, and so I'll complain to you all instead. I'm sorry that you had to hear that sob story. Anyway, uh, you may have noticed that I painted that uh, pole in the front and the fireplace in purple, because green and purple are a fabulous color combination, and anyway, we're going to install our lights now, and I suppose we could put one on this little pole, but I don't I don't really like that one, so we'll try the green one. Mm, no. No, no, no. Um, maybe the white ones could go over here, against the wall. That would look good. Yes, good. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I'm gonna trim the back off of Tiny Master Wu's little hat. And when I say Tiny Master Wu, I mean these tiny lamps. And so now it will sit flat against the wall. Oh, I love tiny things so much. Which is probably why I like Lego so much, because they're all so tiny! Okay, so we're gonna glue my tiny person, mas tiny master Wu to the wall. Yes, fun, yes, yes, good, okay, okay, we're gonna make sure that it stays up there. And, uh, I suppose we should probably glue one upstairs too, because that's the only one that makes sense. You can't very well have asymmetrical lights on one side of the house when it's just a cross section of the house and you can see right into the kitchen without any windows and now I'm rambling. I'll make good on my promise this time and be quiet. I really don't like putting it on that post. Okay. Now I really will make good on my promise and be quiet. Yes, I think that will look good. So I have decided to put the green lamp in the stairwell. Because it's kind of shadowed back there anyway. But first, let's just put the other white lamp upstairs. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Hmm. This one in the back. And no, 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 it's crooked. It's crooked. Gotta fix it. There we go! That looks fabulous. We have three tiny master woos. And uh, I mean lights. Alright, let's see. What else do we need? Um. Yeah, we're gonna set this aside and let it dry. Okay, here I have this uh, little chair I made out of a part of a dental floss container and some paper. And I colored on it a while back. It's got the Lego Elves water symbol. We're just gonna paint over that. So uh, now I'm going to add a third level to Mia's house to add some more space to it. So here I have a cereal box. You can probably tell what cereal it is. I'm not going to show you the logo because I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> okay, box has been successfully chopped open, which is a lot of work with broken kitty scissors. You have no idea how hard that is. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna paint this the same color as the rest of the walls, and then we'll glue it on. If all goes well. Okay, miraculously, I managed to forget to film that entire part, so I'll just tell you what I did. Okay, so I cut a hole in the roof, which is now the third floor, and I added another set of stairs. 
and I cut three wall panels and put them up. Anyway, I'm done for the day. <laughs> See you in another video soon. Bye bye.